sneaky nails back again today. Right. I had a message from the developer of VocoScreen saying, can he use a video for his site? And of course I said yes. So I thought, oh, it's been quite a bit of interest. I'll go through it a bit more with you because I didn't actually go through every bit of the GUI. Although there's not actually much there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through it again with you for the bits you didn't see, just in case you haven't downloaded it yourself already and are using it. Remember, it's for recording games and stuff like that, okay? So I'll go to the menu, we'll go down to multimedia, and we'll go down to VocoScreen. And here we are. Here we have the basic focus screen 1.4.14 beta 3. Now I'm going to start on the main screen. As I showed you yesterday, you can do full screen, window, or area, whichever one you want to. And magnification, which hasn't crashed on me today. You can either click the box and have it all the time, which we don't really want. But basically, if you just click on Control, Shift, and F9, you should be able to magnify the sections that you want. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. You can see little bits there, there, and there, and we go down there, and up there, there, and there. Lovely. So that's that bit out of the way. Now remember, if you've got a webcam, or a webcam even, and you've got it connected, you'll get a little box down here with you in your webcam. So that's something that might interest you, really? Not me personally? No, no, because I'm a bit sneaky, aren't I? Yes, of course. Right, the next section we're going to go to is their audio section. Now, as I said before, you can use Pulse or Elsa. Now, I'm not actually connected to any of my audio devices at the moment because I'm using Terminal to record me recording. So it's two recordings at the same time, which is good. But normally, if you're both uh, uh, connected here, what you'd actually do is turn your volumes down slightly, otherwise you are going to get some clipping, okay? Unfortunately, but if you're using your microphone or the monitor, you don't get it. That's pretty good. Next, we go to our video settings. Right, I'm just going to go to standard. Now, the standard settings are 25 frames a second, the standard codec is H.264 and AVI. You can also not record your mouse cursor, which is good for you for doing games. For a simple reason, you don't need cursor on the screen, do you? Now, for me personally, I changed that to MPEG-4 because it's smoother for me and 30 seconds, but keep to AVI, okay? Then don't forget, on the bottom here, we have Start, which is Control shift 10 f 10 Send, Play, Pause, and Stop. Now, these will become apparent as you go along because starting starts it, Stopping stops it, pausing pauses it, and play plays it. And if you click on send, you can actually mail the video to whoever you want to, which is good for me. So, we might as well have a play in a minute, aren't we? So if we go to settings one more time, it just tells you where the path is. So it's going to my home, my sneaky, my videos, and the player it's going to use if I want to play it via a VOCO screen, it would be VLC for me, although you do get the option of double F play. But we're going to keep it to VLC. Now, do I, do I want VOCO screen minimised when I start recording? Well, yes, of course I do. Yeah. So, we might as well start recording while we're recording, and we'll have a go. Here we go, two, three, four, and we're started. As you can see, it's minimised straight away, and up here in the right-hand taskbar. So I'm not sure how that'd work in Unity, actually. Hmm. Somebody better try that one, better they? But anyway, we get a stop and a pause, so you don't have to go and open the screen up and do it that way if you didn't want to. So I'm going to open a browser up, okay? Which will be your Fox, and we'll open him up. And we're just going to have a quick move around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go to the news. Bloody, 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 blah. Just check the page out. Just so we can check out what I'm doing here now. Yeah. And that'll do for me. And it's going to be a really quick video, that would. So I can click on stop. It stops. Lovely. We can open Voco screen. And now we can play. And it's going to play using VLC. So I'll make it that size. And there you go. That's a lot smoother using MPEG-4, as you can see. The quality is actually preset, which isn't too bad, to be really honest with you. I'm, you know, I'm impressed. But as you can see, the video is nice and smooth and playing along nicely. You can do whatever you want. I like it, though. It's okay. So that's good for me. So if you want to send your video, you just click on send. Or you can just do some stuff with it in OpenShot or Caden Live or PitTV, whichever one you want to use, and it will be hunky-dory. So yeah, that's the full works around a VOCO screen, really. If you like it, go and get the PPA and give it a go and see what you think of it. I think it's really good. If some of you actually managed to record some games, give me a link and I'll have a look too. So that's all I'm going to do. So goodbye, VOCO screen. Goodbye, everybody else. Sneaky Linux out. I See you later. Bye-bye.